Hi, welcome back and thanks for watching again. My name is Rito. Um, today we're going to be looking at what's called a voltage doubler or sometimes called a charge pump. Um, this little guy here. Let's see if we can get it in focus. Um, it doesn't have to be this small obviously. Uh, this was kind of a challenge that I did for myself to see how small I can make one. Um, and I just wanted to have something really small so it doesn't get in the way when I plug this um, into a pedal. Uh, but these are very simple things. Uh, it's a very simple circuit that um, doubles the voltage coming off of your power supply. Um, and it's obviously not an infinite thing. You can't just double any voltage. Um, it's going to be limited by the chips that we're using and their capabilities. Um, but for us guitarists using it for pedals, uh, we're really interested in multiplying 9 volts into 18 volts. Um, and this chip can do a bunch of other stuff like, um, so suppose you have a germanium um, fuzz face or something like that. And usually with a germanium uh, fuzz, you have to invert the polarity of the uh, power supply internally and then you don't want to daisy chain the um, the pedals and destroy your power supply blah 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 so what you could do is you could use one of these chips internally so that you can plug in a regular power supply and then inside the pedal you're going to invert that to create negative 9 volts um, so that you don't disrupt the way the fuzz pedal works and you don't disrupt uh, the power supply outside of that pedal um, anyway that's a topic for a whole nother video and maybe we could do that if you are all interested. But today we are interested in uh, looking at doubling the voltage on our power supply. Um, and so we're going to take a look at the circuit diagram. Um, it's very simple, like I said. Um, and then plug in a breadboarded voltage doubler into our breadboard overdrive to see how much of a difference it makes in the tone of the overdrive. Um, and so there's a lot of talk about how 18 volts can increase the headroom and make the pedal sound smoother or whatever. Um, we'll see if that's actually true. And if it is true, how true is it? And then we're going to compare two different instances. One is going to be just the op amp itself, so no clipping diodes involved at all. Um, and then we're going to add soft clipping diodes to make it into a regular overdrive and then see how 18 volts is going to affect that if it does at all. I think the most famous pedal that uses one of these internally so it's already built into the pedal would be the Klon. And the Klon has a pretty sophisticated power supply system where it uses not just the doubled 18 volts but it also uses a negative 9 volts coming off of this chip. Um, so it's kind of getting full use out of one of these chips but today we're just going to be looking at um, getting the doubled 18 volts out of one of these things. Uh, let's first uh, take a look at the circuit diagram and we'll just briefly cover that so you all can get an idea of how to make one of these um, and then we'll go into the actual tone samples after that. So I hope you enjoyed the video and please comment below um, if you have any thoughts or experiences with these things and as always thanks for watching. Okay so um, we're taking a look at the schematic um, or sort of a layout diagram um, and as you can see, it's really, really simple. Um, you even don't need to have these components. For the diodes here, I didn't write what specific diode to use. I normally just use whatever I have lying around. Um, I have a bunch of 4148s usually on hand um, for clipping diodes, so I usually use those. Um, but you'll see some uh, sites and people uh, recommending to use Shaki diodes here um, because Shaki diodes will typically have a lower forward voltage compared to, um, say, something like a 4148 or a 914. And so, yeah, definitely makes sense to want to use something with a lower forward voltage. Uh, what you do have to be careful here is um, you want to have something that has a absolute maximum reverse voltage rating that's higher than 
definitely 18 volts but um, you want to have a sort of margin of safety and I'd say 25 volts or 30 volts um, so I've built a voltage doubler using um, NOS germanium diodes the Hitachi 1 and 3 4s that I have have a rated uh, reverse maximum reverse voltage of 40 volts so I've built um, this circuit using those and yes I did get a tiny bit of gain a voltage gain um, coming out of it but in the end that minimum amount of voltage gain uh, isn't going to make that big of a difference when we plug it into a guitar pedal what I want to say is that if you have shocky diodes or germanium diodes lying around by all means please use those but you do not have to go out of your way to try to get a hold of shocky diodes or um, good germanium diodes uh, if you have 4148s um, lying around just use those and you will not notice any difference and you'll be absolutely fine um, so that's why I didn't label uh, the diodes in this diagram so let's move on into the actual breadboard and take a look at that and we'll measure the voltages and see what we actually do get out of this circuit okay so um, this is the breadboard layout that I made for the voltage doubler uh, charge pump and so I guess the first thing we'll do is measure the voltage coming off of the power supply and so you can see the power supply and this is connected to an AC outlet um, and so we'll measure what this is showing okay and so um, 9.66 six, volts maybe um, so that's what we're getting off of the power supply and then so we're going to connect this um, and then so for future reference when we connect this thing to um, our breadboard overdrive uh, remember that the red lead is going to be your regular 9 volts straight off of the power supply and then when we have the brown lead connected to the overdrive that's going to be the doubled voltage um, and then so when you're listening to the tones obviously I'll have um, the voltages on the screen but just so you remember uh, which lead is what and then so we'll connect this back to the circuit okay okay so there we go um, 18.64 volts 65 volts I think that initial um, sort of value that you saw was the capacitors charging up um, and then so now it's settled down on to around 18.64 volts um, so we are getting uh, close to double of what we had initially obviously we are losing a little bit of the voltage because of the diodes uh, as far as the the diodes go um, I'm just using regular 4148s for this build um, again you can use shock key diodes or um, uh, germanium diodes that have a high uh, reverse voltage uh, rating um, but like I said earlier um, for that minimal amount of voltage gain um, if you have a bunch of these lying around just use these is what I would recommend but anyway so that's taking a look at the actual voltage that will be coming out of this circuit um, so we'll plug this into our now familiar um, breadboard overdrive um, and then compare uh, the 9 volts against the 18 volts and see how different that overdrive is going to sound 